point that I wanted to make. I know it's a lot of notes for one, uh, Tuesday. Okay, money in the United States can be defined into two categories. So this is, uh, what am I at? Three, this is uh, after two types of money. Yep, under B. Okay, so money in the United States can be um, categorized into two types. Um, they can talk about M1 and M2, okay? So depending upon how broad a definition of money you want. So M1 is what we call uh, is the narrowest definition of money. And this is only including currency. So currency uh, obviously being the uh, paper money and the coins. By the way, I said the $100,000 bill is the largest bill that has ever been produced. Anybody know what's the largest bill produced today? bill that is produced today. Uh, by the way, what are the bills? So we have we have the one, the two, the five, the ten, the twenty, the fifty, and the hundred. Okay, by the way, two dollar bill. Uh, is a two dollar bill produced today? I have it's not legal. It's not produced because it's not it is still produced today, guys. You said saving your two dollar bills doesn't make a flipping difference. Two dollar bills are still produced today. They just aren't produced as much. Why? People don't really use them. Part of it has to do with the fact that people. I was gonna say part of it has to do with the misconception that people think that they're very, they're not produced anymore, and so then they keep them. Okay. But the $2 bill is still produced today, okay? So if you come across one, it is still produced. Look at the, look at the uh, date on it, okay? Again, guaranteed it's going to be in the 2000s, okay? But paper money, currency, okay, coins, those all uh, count. Um, and then we have what we call demand deposits. Demand deposits is just a fancy word, uh, fancy phrase for checking account. Okay? These count. Oops, I thought I had another picture here. Okay, uh, these count as M1, okay? M1 is the narrowest definition of money. So this is what we can actually use as cash, okay? We can go to the store and spend today. So you can go and, for example, uh, spend your paper currency or your coins, or you can go and write a check. By the way, anybody use checks anymore? Yeah. Yeah. You have this awful look on your face when you say that. Okay, so you get checks from work. Uh, but for the most part, if you have a checking account, by the way, how many of you have a checking account? I have a Okay, if you have a checking account, how, how do you use your checking account? With a card. You're more likely to use a debit card, right? Okay, you probably have a checkbook somewhere, but you probably don't use it, okay? So keep in mind, okay, checking accounts count as money. Now, M2, Oops. M2 is a broader definition of money. Okay, this includes all of M1. Guys, I'm almost done, I promise. Okay, all of M1 is included with M2, um, but it also includes things that are called near money. And near money are things that you can't go directly to the store and spend. Okay? but you can transfer it into currency, okay? So, no, checks are money. Yes, you can, because I can go and write a check, and I can give it to them, and that's payment. They can go, and they can take that, and they can go and pay, pay something with that. Sure they can. You can write it over to somebody else. You can write it over on the back to somebody else. Mm -hmm. You can write it over to somebody else. 
Near money is going to be like, for example, savings accounts. Okay, if you have strictly just a savings account, anybody have a strict savings account? No checking account attached. Means that savings account, guys, savings account are going to be where you don't have a checkbook attached, you don't have an ATM card attached. Okay, so that means that the only way you can get money out of your savings account is you have to go directly to the bank. You have to fill out one of those stupid little slips. You have to go to the teller and say, hey, I want my cash, right? So the reason, guys, gentlemen, the reason our savings accounts don't count as uh, M1 is because I cannot go to the grocery store, take in my savings account book, right? If you still have a book, right? Uh, I can't go give it to them and say, here, here's my payment for my groceries. They're not going to take that, okay? You can go to the bank and go get your money out, okay? Because it can easily be converted into cash, okay? But the savings account by itself is not money, okay? Also, time deposits can be easily converted to cash. What I mean by that is, is like, we're going to talk about CDs. Basically, when you put your money into a bank and you give them your bank, and you're the, give them money, the money and they're going to borrow it for a certain period, a certain period of time and then they will give it back to you, okay? That's what we call near money. Okay, time deposits. Okay, so like I said, savings account, and um, that was an example of, I think, a government savings bond. We'll talk more about those. But that's the definition of M2, as well as the certificate of deposit. Okay, I am done with notes. I know it's long. So anybody have any questions about this?